All right, guys, last week we had the uh, graduation video, and at the end of that video, we actually showed the log lift that we started on. This week is going to be the official part one of the log lift for the log splitter, and I'll show a small clip of last week in case you didn't get to see that, and then we'll start from there, and we'll show you what we did on this log splitter. All right, guys, tonight I called up Pop Pop Gringo. I said, come on over. Let's get this log splitter out and look at it. We're going to put some kind of a lift system on this log splitter. Uh, typical redneck fashion. We didn't just look at it. We went ahead and got started on it. All right, guys, hats off to Surplus Center. Uh, I ordered this valve a couple days ago and this nipple, and they are here already. So uh, as soon as I get in the house and get changed into a pair of shorts because it's hot, it's humid, we're going to go ahead and get started on this. All right, guys, I realize what I just did here, and hopefully it won't be an issue, but I'm going to point it out to you because I know a lot of guys are going to go, hey, that ain't going to work. Uh, so these are normally open. In other words, the flow comes from the pump and just goes right through both of the valves at this point until you actually actuate a valve. Um, you know, and then at that point it directs the fluid into the top of the cylinder or into the bottom of the cylinder, whichever uh, direction you want the piston to go. By doing so, if that cylinder gets into a bind, especially this great big cylinder splitting a piece of wood, when this gets under pressure, this pump line also gets under some high pressure. So I have already thought about this and uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be safe. So when I go to lift the log, we're going to pull that out, which is going to cause back pressure through this nipple and through this valve body. At that point, I don't think we're going to build enough pressure in that valve body to hurt anything. I do understand the fact that this has to be in neutral before I pull this or else we could overpressurize the top of the cylinder or the bottom of the cylinder. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Uh, but we have our output lines here. We're going to bring two hoses down and go right through this area here, avoiding the engine. And, uh, you know, it'll come from here, go over to here, and my hydraulic cylinder will be down into here somehow. Again, guys, this is Redneck Manufacturing. We have no idea what's going to happen when it happens until it happens. So I'm just hoping that it does work. And so far, we can make anything work once. All right, so we just got back from my favorite place out in Greenwood, Delaware. Billy Warren and Son picked up some surplus steel, some flat metal, and uh, two by two box tubing, as well as two by three box tubing. So now we have something to go ahead and get started with on this.
Hey guys, I wanted to take this moment just to say thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for watching my videos, liking and commenting. Uh, we are up to 1,442 or 43 subscribers right now. And that number seems to grow two or three a day. So really appreciate you guys uh, subscribing to the channel. I hope you enjoy what we're putting on here for you. Uh, as you can see, I got a nice shop and we just try to do projects uh, and keep ourselves busy, keep ourselves out of trouble. And as you can see, a redneck can get dressed up and uh, tonight, it's Friday night, me and my wife are going out to dinner, so uh, no work in the shop tonight. So the log splitter will just have to wait until tomorrow.